you so very, very much for that introduction. I certainly appreciate that. And you know, I love what you just did there, the the way that you went through these notes and the way that you did the updates and the way that you brought Mr. Mufar's video in there. My why? I mean, man, that's that's good stuff. I was like, wow, I even took some notes and I'm gonna use some of those notes probably later on. So I appreciate that so very, very much. Um, good day to everybody. And I'm telling you, you know, it is such a blessing to be here. And I like uh, Lorado. I, I'm just thrilled, humbled to be here. And just, man, when you guys get moving and the things that you guys are doing and saying and how, how you are just so comprehensive in this webinar, it really does help us a great deal to get an idea of what's going on for some of us that may be feeling like they're left a little behind because we don't quite get it. Um, I know that when I first came in, that was, that was me. That was, I was like, nobody does this. This can't happen. And I, I was quite the cynic. So I just want to say thank you for, for blessing me and blessings to you. Um, I'm, I'm so glad to be here and be allowed to participate in this with you. And I've got to thank uh, Lorado. And, you know, she's got that that picture that I just saw. What a regal, beautiful picture that is of her. And I want to thank her for what she opened up a little bit ago. She's absolutely right. It's hard to listen to Mr. Mufara without coming away with something of value that we can use in our personal lives. And I have found that to be the case no matter what. I go back and even the second or third times that I listen to what he says when he gets on one of his soapboxes, if you will, I come away with more life lessons. He just seems to be very wise for his age. And I certainly appreciate um, Loretta for bringing that out. And she says, you know, she reminds me of something when she says deep calling unto deep. And that is true here within the founder, within the founder base and within on passive in that that tells me that she understands and she recognizes, you know, like, like, like iron sharpens iron that we are good for each other and that we are going to win bigger together as one of our mottos is. And to that end, uh, Debbie, <laughs> I'm going to accept a little grace that you've offered and I'm going to switch what I was doing and thank you, Lorada, for bringing this up. Um, so I'm going to kind of switch gears a little bit to talk. Um, First of all, just for a few minutes about how we get engaged with on passive or, or maybe why we get engaged. I'm not sure. I don't know what direction that's going to go in right now. But as I move forward, I hope that I'll, I'll kind of bring it together for you. But, you know, Mr. Mufara talked about um, how founders and this is on the last webinar on how founders seem to get a little more engaged when we're shown things as opposed to being just told about them. And I would point again, uh, Dr. Derek, to you and the, the training that you just did where you showed us, you showed us your screens and you showed Mr. Mufara seeing these things. So it was not only audible, but we saw, we were shown, and that gives us a greater appreciation and a greater understanding for those things. And Mr. Mufara brought that out and he said, you know, we seem to be more engaged as opposed to lesser engaged when we just hear, but when we see things. And an example he used was showing actual screenshots of the products and things like that, you know, the, the old mail and the unpassive business solutions, rather than just talking about them. And then he actually asked, you know, hey, is there someone, can you, is there a founder that will step up and tell us why that might be so? And uh, founder uh, Noble, Robin Noble, came up with some pretty good insights on that webinar to respond to him. Uh, she gave some perspectives, um, you know, with founders wanting to be shown so they can engage with others with confidence. And this is something, again, that Lorada kind of put a spotlight on is how, how we engage and how we, how we can engage with confidence and sort of um, down, down that pathway. So if we un, unpack that topic just a little bit, it is very true for us to say that some of us have no real experience. Some of us have no real basis um, with which to imagine, much less understand 
what it is that we have or what the, we've become a part of with on passive and it can be extremely overwhelming i know that i see that in the many texts and the emails that people send me where they just don't seem to have to have a clue and i'm finding myself explaining even the basics to them you know once twice or even you know three times until they can start to to really get it um as as getting past some of that uh a lot of us in our past have worked online uh we we've suffered through the uh the the hurts and the disillusions of that and on passive has been born has been has been uh, uh risen in a in a matter of speaking to, to get us away from that to heal that hurt that, that we've that we've experienced as a result of some past failures perhaps you know and he shows us a lot of this um he shows us um that we can get past that and it starts with an ability to believe in what we are doing and then we move from that ability to having an understanding of what we have and where we're at and how it all fits together and you know he went on to explain that understanding that helps us to develop confidence it helps us develop confidence in on passive and in ourselves and as witnessed by this platform right out front it raises leaders and those leaders um likewise raise leaders beyond or behind them too and sometimes he teaches you know with parables and such to give us this kind of understanding but i say all that to say that that understanding that we get when, once we start um taking a look at what on passive is really doing in ways that we can see you know that, that we're shown it gives us a confidence that enables us to dream a little more it helps us to 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 expand our own imagination and to think wow um if on passive is really done for you and if on passive has really got all this going then that means that i can really become a part of something and i can be something bigger than what i am and so we start to dream we start to really understand that these things are possible and that gets us excited you know it, it motivates us even and from that we can develop a passion of our own that helps to fulfill the passive um or actually the on passive vision i'll put it that way through compassionate action by doing something for others and that's part of the uniqueness that uh Loredo and uh, Dr. Derek and, and you folks here talk about when we say we're each significant, we're each uh, here by design, and each and every one of us are part of something that is unique. And that uniqueness is in us and in on passive, in that we have turned the business model that we used to know, that conventional business model on his ear because now we're taking our minds off of ourselves we're getting them onto other people and part of that is helping us to raise humanity now if you're not quite there yet then i would just urge you continue to watch the videos continue to look at the webinars that are done by the uh, leaders by mr mufara i mean this this webinar is a perfect example if you can get folks to log on and see what's happening because it's explained very well then you're going to start to understand it and the more you understand it the more confidence you're going to get in it and the more confidence you have the more you're going to start to dream and the bigger you dream the more motivation you're going to have and the things that you're going to bring into life for you and those around you are going to match up with what we're trying to do with the vision of um on passive so Success is a journey and, and we're going to be successful, every one of us as founders. And what we do today, as Mr. Mufara has said, is going to determine our tomorrow. So if we can get in and get engaged, right, if we can get motivated in a way that is a, a long term motivation and it, it's in a, in a way that will reflect the vision that Mr. Mufara had for us those many years ago and that reflects what our passive is truly about, then we're going to have a positive impact on the world and that's just I, I say that prefacing everything else that i was going to talk about but lorado thank you so much because you opened that up and uh, it was it was wonderful the way that you did it and i appreciate that 
So now I'm just going to kind of go into what I was going to talk about. And that is, and Debbie, thank you so much for this. Uh, you actually inspired the title. Well, well <laughs> I say title, it, it's not really a title. It's just kind of a main theme because it's so true that on passive is a voice for those that have no voice and have had no voice in the past. It's, it's, it's an empowerment tool and resource for humanity. It all started back in 2018, right? Mr. Mufar decided he was going to create a digital marketing platform. That was it. It wasn't some huge uh, aspiration, you know, where where he was going to change the world. He was the idea was to develop a way for anybody, the little guy, right, anybody at all, to work from anywhere and to make a good living at it. Now, fortunately, Mr. Mufara <laughs> had a lot of experience doing this. He had many years before he even started doing this. He's also highly educated. He never quits. Yeah, I mean, this was outlined when. Uh, uh, you asked in the in the uh, webinar, you know, what's MIT? That's a master's in information technology. Yeah, he. I mean, he's got it going on. So life is good, right? But more than that, Mr. Mufara was determined to do it the right way, in a clean, fresh way. And when I refer to the right way, I'm talking about, well, quite bluntly, the law of God. Doing what's right because it's right, period, right? And so what he wanted to do was to create that ideal business concept. And that's what he did. He developed a revolutionary new business model that was based on connectedness and mutual benefit, right? He recognized that we're all connected and we're all part of the human race. And at the very start, even back then, it was only a general plan. It wasn't this huge, huge thing. <laughs> that is so crazy that we've developed into, right? But from its onset, it was infused with a few things, desire, the will, and the resources to do what's right because it's right, right? By raising the human condition through his version of high tech and heart. And I mean, later on, that became a philosophy known to us as AI with heart, right? And that ideally reflected what we wanted to do or it was reflected in his vision statement which he put out uh, it's, it's got to be about three years ago now and that vision statement simply says on passive is the ultimate complete and unique digital marketing platform that ensures everyone succeeds regardless of their backgrounds or ability by offering the simplest environment with the highest standards and the most value while sustaining the benefits of a global stimulus plan. I love that. And that was put in stone, so to speak, three years ago. Not one word of that has changed. His mission has not changed and his commitment has not changed. And that is a philosophy that is encompassed by the AI with heart model that Mr. Mufara actually coined um, three years ago or, or better, right? So on passive has since become a groundbreaking AI IT company. Um, it's intellectual property, it's proprietary cutting edge technology, it's innovative AI base. It's all wrapped around, um, if I could use the, the term DNA, right? Of Mr. Mufara's vision, everything that he's done the last three years has at its center his vision to, for lifting the world and that to me is just it's so phenomenal and just talks to his heart right but anyway as a result what we literally have here is the, the world's very first total internet solution and mr mufara actually um he, he explained it in a quote a couple of years ago that i love this was uh I think almost two years ago, I think in 2020, October, November, sometime. But he said this, and, and, and I quote, you pay and you own the world. That's it. <clears throat> That's what on passive is. Everything you need to communicate, to learn, to educate, to earn, to connect with the world, to promote your business to any activity that goes around your daily life, today's life, is already in on passive. Once you do that, the light goes on. And I'll tell you, I love that. Uh, that's my second favorite quote. His, the, my first one from him is when he tells us that no company on the planet is going to give you more value. I just, I, I just love the way he did that. 
But anyway, our platform, the on passive business solution that Dr. Derek and uh, the other uh, leaders mentioned a little bit ago, is severely going to disrupt both the, the current online marketing model and the online business model, right? And that's going to allow millions, eventually billions of us to get financially unstuck. And, and that's his term too, right? On passive is going to lift us up and out of current circumstances of lack or failure through a very powerful, sustainable, completely online digital marketing platform such as the world has never seen. And this is only going to multiply as the world continues to find out about our proprietary technology, you know, what we're doing. Quite literally, what we're doing has never been done. There's nothing to compare us to. And we have got literally everything needed for an on online presence. I mean, it's all scalable, it's all fair, and, and it's priceless. So, but quite frankly, that was, that's the beginning of it. Uh, you know, a lot of companies would probably stop right there or try to stop there, simply isn't happening. The sheer magnitude of what OnPassive has started, man, even me, it, 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 it staggers my imagination sometimes. I, I get to where my brain is kind of numb after listening to him for a couple of hours where I'm just, it's so big and incomprehensible to me. I'd rather just go to sleep for a couple hours, you know, but these include a lot of things and certainly aren't limited to the business and the marketing model, the digital, right, which was expanded from the marketing platform to include, you know, communications and AI, right, the digital ecosystem that we talk about, all the marketing and traffic and the financials that go with it. I mean, we've got physical products numbering in the hundreds. I mean, they include inventions, products never seen before, and they're going to touch these products. They're going to be available to everybody on the planet and touch every industry in the planet. You know, Dr. Derek and, and you leaders talked a little bit ago about the data centers. I mean, cutting edge, state-of-the-art centers that are going to be the best on the planet. They're hybrid. They're in the cloud. They're being scaled. And again, you said, you know, recently, uh, Mr. Mufara talked about having mobile data centers before too long. I mean, this is unheard of, never done before, more powerful. And the equipment and the technology they're using, I mean, it is all state-of-the-art, brand new. Oh, man, he's got systems that we haven't even heard about for energy, then that that's going to be, he alluded to us being the only option in that dimension was his word. And I'll tell you, when you start using uh, renewable, sustainable energy with zero carbon footprint that uh, does not use any fossil fuel, and it just, it just runs, and you match that up with data centers, which are absolutely hogs for energy, well, you just cut the cost of any mining. And so when you start talking about crypto and you can reduce that mining cost where it's barely costing you anything because the energy you're using is free, you have just changed the world. And that's, well, I'll, I'll let it go at that, right? He's also got innovation labs. I mean, he's got new departments, products we haven't even heard of, right? I mean, the innovation labs we've got, we've got two of them done so far. Um, the first one is they're very AI, they're very uh, interested in uh, futuristic tech, right? They identify um, things that are needed to create solutions for. The second one is for physical products. I mean, it actually already has two branches in it, right? And two different countries. And one of those branches is a specific sector that's gonna be dealing with uh, energy and products made from fossil fuels and seeks to replace a lot of those with a whole lot better uh, alternatives. The other lab is is one um, in another country that's going to be um, actually the first lab is the one identifying all the futuristic stuff that have for for solutions. The second one is one that has the two branches already open. They've got another one that's slated to be open in October. And I love this because it speaks to us being a voice. And that is that it is focused on behavioral sciences, specifically the behavioral sciences or the behavioral aspect of children. And right alongside of that, Mr. Mufar also talked to us about um, a, a new department, well, a, new, a department we had never, this new to us, that we'd never seen or heard of, 
and that department was called the uh, uh, Edu Media. It's a blend of education and media, in which uh, their O Media, right? They've got like 20 professors, either full time or in consultation in several countries in this department. And their projects uh, were recently established as uh, communicating with about 1500 universities across the globe to work with them. And so that on passive could help perhaps to endorse them, but certainly so that the universities could endorse on passive and specifically using uh, Academy. Um, there's also a proposal in, in at least one country to use Academy as a default education platform right through the use of tablets, which is man, that, I mean that's what we do we're digital right and that country has got more than 110 million in population which means that we're going to be part of world education you know culturally innovative education for generations so this is what we're talking about when we say that we've got a platform that gives a voice to the world it gives voice to those that previously really haven't had a voice right i mean in the next 60 days or so if we think about it the world is going to see us marketing and that marketing is going to be carried out at the global level. Um, on passing, it's going to soon become the greatest company on the planet. I mean, we're going to have events in this marketing on at least four continents, at least four. I mean, I think there's only seven. So that's <clears throat> that's going to cover the world. Uh, we're going to see massive branding, massive marketing that's going to start in India, right? With paid advertising campaigns and all of these things, everything that we're doing and every bit of momentum that we have is all pointing to lifting humanity at every conceivable level and empowering us all with a voice, right? And even if we took a look at just one of the areas, right, we would still succeed more greatly than a lot of companies on the planet. That's just one area, right? And it still has the idea that that one company with so many um, directions and so much momentum and so many good founders behind it can literally boggle your mind if, if you think about how big we've gotten because not ever before, never before as a single company sought to achieve uh, and share such far reaching initiatives for the greatest good, right? To, to humanity, for the human race. And that is to say, you know, it's it goes without saying that on passive is going to be unicorn uh status day one uh it, i mean it doesn't even take half of half of our stuff into account in actuality we're going to be a, a unicorn many times over right out of the gate so it's about us getting involved it's about us becoming a part of something that is a movement and absolutely phenomenal it's it's not only national it's global right and this is that that we're getting our minds off of ourselves we're helping others through giving and we're lifting uh humanity through the compassionate action that we get motivated to because of our understanding of what we're trying to do what the goals are and through that we are actually going to make a big big difference and we have a voice in that difference on passive is empowering each and every one of us and if we could just get that idea that even if you do one little thing every day that that makes a difference even if you grow, especially if you grow over the next two, three weeks and you do a little more, you do a little more and you grow more comfortable, you get more confident. The bigger you get, the bigger we all get. Life is just going to get a lot better for us. I've got a couple of quotes I'd like to leave you with that just kind of sum up in my mind the whole thing with on passive. And one is by Winston Churchill. He just says, you know, to make a living, uh, by what we get and we make a life by what we give and I know that on passive it's all about helping I know that the vast majority of founders and certainly everybody on this platform is all about helping and so there's a there's a quote from an it just, I don't even know who quoted it or, or where it came from but it's just called a Chinese proverb and it says if you want to be happy for an hour go take a nap if you want happiness for a day go fishing if you want happiness for a year, develop a fortune. But if you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. And I'll leave you with that. And thank you so much. I appreciate the little time here that I took. And thank you for this, this webinar. And thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. 
Wow. 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 <laughs> if you do not hear your voice through what our brother just presented, then we don't know which voice again you, you want. So, Sister Debbie, can you go to introduce the next set of um, faiths? Yes. I was just going to, again, to echo you and thank Brother Jeffrey. We appreciate you. It's just awesome. As, as you were talking, the comments in the chat about how great it is, how empowering it is to hear what you re-emphasize 